Alright, today we're playing some Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, or I guess two. So, I've owned this game for ages, and I've never beaten it, I don't think. I think I watched my brother play through it, kind of his game, back in the day. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd. <laughs> Oh, this has nothing to do with the movies. This is the first one they made just to go alongside it. And they eventually made the second and third movies in the games, but they never went back and made a first one for the... like, for a tie-in. It's kind of strange. I don't want to just play this. I own the second one on PS2, but I don't own the third one. I had that one on PC. Apparently it's a bitch to get working. I don't remember much about this except for they explore some of the areas that the movie cut out actually, so it's closer to the books in some ways. In the shadows of Mordor, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the One you know, Ring to enslave all elves, dwarves, and men of Middle Earth. The free people of Middle Earth overthrew Sauron, but lost the Ring. Now the enemy has returned, and from his dark tower in Mordor, he seeks his Ring. We must find the ring first, and destroy it. Sounds like Jennifer Hale. But who can bear to carry the ring? The weak would be corrupted. Precious. <laughs> the powerful would become as great a threat as Sauron. But who can bear the ring? Welcome back, Gandalf. Will we have fireworks, elvish lessons, tales of ancient Numenor? Today, we must talk about a shadow of the past. The ring you inherited may be very dangerous. Uncle Bilbo's magic ring? Magic rings, as you call them, were made by elves. But this ring, I think, was made by another. Give me the ring. No! <laughs> I think about the timing on that. Look closely. I see fine lines. Lines of fire. In a flowing script. What does it say? One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. This is the one ring to rule them all. The ancient kings of elves, dwarves, and men use the rings of power to rule their lands. The Dark Lord Sauron created this ring to rule all the others. When he fell in battle, he lost it. A strange creature called Gollum found the ring and was corrupted by it. Bilbo won it from Gollum, and now it is yours. But the Lord of the Rings has returned. And all his thought is bent he said on the name of the game. The Let's destroy it. <laughs> it can only be destroyed when it was forged in Mount Doom, the fire mountain in Mordor. Take it there. Take it. No, do not tempt me. If I bore the ring, I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Then, then I must guard the ring. And I will help you bear this burden as long as it is yours to bear. I'm a danger to the Shire. I must leave. I could set out on the road just like Bilbo. My dear Frodo, hobbits really are amazing creatures. But you need not go alone, if there are any you can trust. But take care. The enemy has many spies. <laughs> ah. 
Well then, Samwise Gamgee, isn't it? Ah, uh, don't hurt me! What are you doing at Bag End? Nothing, sir. Uh, trimming the grass under the window. Oh? The sound of shears stopped some time ago. How long have you been eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? Uh, there ain't no eaves at Bag End. Don't be a fool. What have you heard? Oh, uh, uh, Frodo, d don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. He won't hurt you. Just answer his question. Well, I heard a lot I didn't understand about lords and rings and a fiery mountain. And elves, sir. I had to listen. I dearly love to see elves. Keep it a secret, Sam. Or I hope Gandalf turns you into a spotted toad. I've thought of something better. He will go away with you, Frodo. Me, sir? Go and see elves and all? <laughs> Hooray! But where should we go? Towards danger, but not too rashly, nor too straight. And you mustn't vanish. Take time to settle your affairs before you leave. I could leave in autumn on my birthday. Very well, but no later. Make for Rivendell in the east, and seek the counsel of Elrond Half-Elven. East? I'll tell everyone I'm buying a house in Crick Hollow near my relatives in Buckland. I'll have to sell Bag End. The Sackville Bagginses have been trying to take over this place for years. A shame to let them have it. Indeed. And now I must go. I have much to attend to. As do I. See that Samwise Gamgee does not talk, or I will turn him into a spotted toad. You can trust Sam. Oh, yes! Not a word from Sam Gamgee, and that's for certain. Once you leave, travel is Mr. Underhill. The name of Baggins is not safe outside the Shire. And do not use the ring, for it can corrupt the most innocent heart. I understand. Farewell, Gandalf. <laughs> elves! <laughs> I'm going to see elves! Farewell, Frodo. I'll return by your birthday. But Gandalf did not come back, <laughs> and as the nights grew longer, I decided I might have to leave without him. On the morning of my birthday, September 22nd, I set out for one final stroll around the Shire. I had to say farewell to my neighbors and sell my home to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. Uh, what do we got in options? Subtitles are on. How come they weren't during the cutscene, though? Kind of strange. Oh, right. There were rocks. <laughs> Camera control. Is that like a wooden sword? Or is it just a stick? Just a stick. The one ring is in this chest. I'd best leave it here until I sell back in. Yeah. So we're just gonna leave it in the house? It'll be fine in there, right? Going here. We look at a map or anything. Show quests. Get the key to Bag End. And the Bag End deed. So we got two things to find in here. stick K 
ที่Let's throw rocks at him. Right in the face. Good morning to you, Mr. Frodo. Good morning, Sam. All ready to set out for Buckland? All ready? Or will be as soon as I tend to Bag End. Nobelia Sackville Baggins is buying the place. You don't need to weed Bag End ever again. I'd like to weed them Sackville Bagginses out of Bag End, if you get my meaning. No, I've got to weed that garden one last time, Frodo. Say my goodbyes to it. Set it to rights before Lotho and Lobelia ruin it. Bag End has the best garden in the Shire, thanks to your work. Oh, uh, no. I I'm sure there are many finer. Oh, Mary Brandybuck said he was meeting Pippin Took at the Green Dragon and invited you to join. They took a long walk out here just for a drink. I wonder what mischief they're up to. Begging your pardon, sir, but there's little mischief to be found in the Green Dragon. The Keeper won't stand for it. We will see. I wonder how many lucky wishing stones are at the bottom of this well. Add some more. <laughs> Up to climb up. Oh, there he is. Oops. Used to the frame rate and whatnot. And ledges. Mushroom. Oh shit, it's fall damage. I wonder if he can hit the pigs. Seem easy to aim these. There's another mushroom. Person. Wait, can I? Oh, why do I? Have a... What are these controls? So, my left stick looks around, right stick strafes. <laughs> oh, that's the inventory again. Like Metal Gear inventory. Kind of. Frame rate is not amazing in this game. And they have the guy's address there. Yeah. Hmm. No address on that one. Oh, there. Game. Hello there, Hal. Hello, Frodo. Hello there, Hal. Hello, Frodo. Nothing to actually say, though. Wait. Let's have that same problem with the diagonals. 
Wait, but that means my PS1 controller. Incredibly weird. It's only doing it briefly. Hmm. I tried using the thing as well for this game, and it did the same thing that it was doing in Urge uh, of Cerberus. Yeah, sometimes diagonals don't work, but not all the time. Weird. Hello, Milo. Hello, Frodo. Seen any elves lately? I'm afraid not, I'm sorry to say. What about trolls? No trolls either. Good. It's about time you found your hobbit sense again. You know, some say you're as mad as your uncle, carrying on with that old wizard and all. I see. Well, at least they have something interesting to talk about then. Good day. <laughs> Where exactly we're going to find Lavelia? Daddy Two Foot? That's a name. To it. I'll not be here when these pumpkins get turned into pies. Oh, is this Sam nice again? Pity. We went around in circles. Huh. Who's that down there? Hey, yeah, talk to him? Hobbit kids. Stand and deliver. Excuse me. I am the Dread Highwayman Sancho, and I demand a toll, sir. But I'm a poor country hobbit with no gold to spare. Well, that's what Ted Sandyman said. So the Dread Highwayman had to take a stick out of the mill. Shut it all down, I did. What kind of a stick? You can't catch the Dread Highwayman. I mean, I can, but... I like this music. Sandyman's Mill. It looks a lot more cheerful than Ted Sandyman. <laughs> Hello, Ted. I wanted to say goodbye before I... Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, no. You seem to be just standing about. Well, if you knew about mills, you'd know I'm trying to locate a very important metal pin that must have fallen out of my mill wheel. Is that why the mill isn't working? Oh, never you mind about working or not working. I've sent Mugwort to Bree for a replacement. I'll let you know if I see it. What does it look like? <laughs> if I haven't found it yet, there's no way you can find it. But... Uh, Man, why is he being such a jerk? Like a plain metal pin. <clears throat> now, good day to you. Do we know the kid took it? Do I just go talk to the kid? Also, is this like a side quest? Do I need to do it? Damn kids at. I saw there was a second one I didn't talk to. Back here. You have to like be facing them directly. Hello, Mr. Baggins. Hello there, Minto. 
What's the matter? Mrs. Sackville Baggins tried to hit me with her umbrella. Lobelia? Why? I was chasing Sancho Proudfoot past Bag End. She said that was no place for little ruffians. What did you do? When she turned away, I threw an apple. I almost <laughs> got her, too. She gave me a look that would curdle milk, <laughs> then went down to Bywater. Good riddance, I say. Try not to waste perfectly good apples that way. You're right. A rock would have been better. I'm sure you don't mean that, Minto. Sorry, Mr. Baggins. Well, goodbye. Number three, Bagshot Row. Home of the Gamgees. Will Sam miss it as much as I'll miss Bag End? Mm. The bold sheriff has finally caught the dread highwayman. You don't frighten the dread highwayman. Give me the stick from the mill. Well, I, I don't have it. I threw it at a weather vane, and now it's stuck up there. You had better be telling the truth. Weather vane. Not up there, is it? No. It's stuck on a roof, probably somewhere. Where else would there be a weather vane? Hmm. I wonder if those eventually come down. <laughs> nice. I see a weather rain over there. <laughs> oh, jeez, what is going on with the sign? <laughs> hello there, Hal. Oh, hello, Frodo. You have a beautiful day to begin your trip to Crick Hollow. Yes, indeed. I'm too old for such long walks. I can't even climb high enough to fix my weather vane. What's wrong with it? The thing's stuck. Sorry to hear it. That rascal Sancho Proudfoot was throwing sticks at it. Now it won't turn at all. I'll take a look at it before I leave. Well, that'd be fine with me. The ladder's right over there. A rock at the weather vane? That's how we're gonna look at it? The stick go though. Oh, was I supposed to do it from up here? I guess so. Huh. We don't get the stick back. Weather vane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. If you don't mind, I'll just take that metal pin that was jamming the weather vane. Eh? But he did of it. course, take it. Thank you. Why would you want such a thing? It might help Sandyman fix the mill. My, you're a boon to all the Shire. Just trying to help. Good day, Hal. This place is going to fall apart without Frodo. Uh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Spins again, thanks to Frodo Baggins of all people. You've done me a valuable service today, Baggins. Why, thank you, Ted. Good day. So, did we not get a reward?
Well, we did a good deed. The same path Bilbo took when he began his adventure long ago. I don't remember how saving works in this game. Oh, you just save whenever you want? Okay. Hello, Angelica. We shall miss you terribly, Frodo. Indeed. You're going ever such a long way away. Practically to the other end of the world. Just the other end of the Shire. It's so far to travel. I hope you can return to Hobbiton one day. So do I. Goodbye, Frodo. Goodbye, Angelica. <laughs> This is just a random rock. <laughs> Good bodies. Young Baggins, <laughs> cheers on your birthday. Thank you kindly, Daddy Toofoot. <laughs> I haven't seen your wizard friend about lately. Standing on the chessboard. I do miss those fireworks. So do I. I remember the day when all those dwarves came to call on Mr. Bilbo. Dwarves and a wizard. Life is quieter now. I just I love don't the camera angles. Quieter. It's so good. You hear such strange stories these days. Long dead Barrow Whites waking near the old forest. Great armies in the east and south, dwarves and big people fleeing, elves traveling west and never coming back. Ah, but I'm chattering on. Safe travel to you. Frodo, have time to enjoy a mug with me? Hello, Sheriff. Just saying goodbye. Off on adventures? What? Adventures? I don't have adventures. Why not? All the great dragons in hiding from the fearsome Bagginses? <laughs> don't worry, Frodo. It's just my little joke. Everyone knows you're a respectable hobbit, unlike your Uncle Bilbo, bless him. Of course. Well, goodbye, Robin. And everyone are being jerks today. Hmm. Oh, I can't stand on the bar and get a silly angle. Hello there, Rosie. And hello to you, Frodo Baggins. I wish you fair weather for your journey. Um, where's Samwise? I'll catch up with him before I set out. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Well, perhaps you can teach that Samwise some manners. What's he done? Nothing I've caught him at, but... He's likely one of those pranksters that have been ringing the Firewater warning bell with stones. If we ever need to ring the bell, Sheriff Robin may ignore it, thinking it's a child's prank. I'm sure Sam would never do that. Perhaps. Well, return as often as you can. Hello there, Mike. 
Master Gamgee. Well, hello, young Frodo. <laughs> I hope my boy Sam does well tending your garden out there in Crick Hollow. Well, if he slackens, you be sure to send word to me. Your son's a very good worker, Master Gamgee. He's not but a ninny hammer. But you're kind to take the lad with you. Do be careful out there on the road. I've heard tell of strange doings. Hungry wolves have been seen in the South Farthing. Or so I heard from Hugo Bracegiddle at the Ivy Bush Inn. Wolves? In the Shire? Well, that's what I says to him. Wolves in the Shire? My old dad told me those tales when I was but a lad. I never thought I'd see such times. I hope the wolves will leave as quickly as they came. Goodbye, Master Gamgee. Hello, Frodo. What took you so long? Did that sluggard Sam Gamgee forget to tell you that we'd be here? Never mind Sam. What brings you two scoundrels all the way to Bywater? Breakfast, though. We're up to lunch now. Pull up a chair. You came all this way just for breakfast? Can't tell. It's a conspiracy. Don't tell him. Oh, too late. Our conspiracy is unmasked. May as well tell him everything now. Since you'll be walking past old Maggot's farm, we thought we'd have a go at his garden again. Three is company. Just like old times. Remember those mushrooms? I remember his ferocious dogs. I believe Frodo's afraid. Are you afraid, Pippin? I'm never afraid, Mary. Those dogs are all bark and no bite. Old Maggot threatened to show me their bite. Only because he caught you. Well, just be careful this time. Remember the smell of those mushrooms cooking? I do love mushrooms. Then it's settled. We'll meet oh, you no. at Maggot's farm. This is like the one thing I remember about this game that this intro area makes it seem like it's gonna be like gigantic. So many people to talk to and whatnot. Uh, you never belonged here in Hobbiton, Frodo. You and your mad Uncle Bilbo. I wonder if when they made this they planned to do all three of them. going on <laughs> i don't hold with reckless bell ringing oh if any wolves approach the shire the bounders will chase them off just as they chase away foxes and such i'm glad the shire is well protected now if that's all i've got a mug to return to in the green dragon Hello, Lobelia. Where's the sheriff? Where's that lazy Robin Smallborough? I couldn't say. Now about Bag End. Never you mind all that. There are wolves in the Shire. I'm sure the sheriff is keeping everyone safe. How could he? I haven't told him about the wolves yet. Go away, Frodo. I need the sheriff. Just ring the warning bell. If he's anywhere in Bywater, he'll come running. Don't just hang about then. Ring the warning bell. Oh, fine. He just told me not to ring it for no reason. rung the warning bell. Now what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. I rang the bell. Lobelia wants you to know there are wolves in the Shire. Oh, is that all? I've heard that rumor, but I reckon no one's seen these wolves. Not even Lobelia. Oh. If any wolves approach the Shire, the bounders will chase them off, just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. That didn't do much. Well, someone finally came to his senses and rang that bell. Now we'll have safety and order in the Shire. I do hope so. Now then, what did you want to speak to me about? Make it snappy, I have a lot of things to tend to. It's about Bag End. You said you wanted to buy it. What? But I thought you were lying, you deceitful boy. I believe that when I have the deed in my hand. Did you bring it? Here's the deed to Bag End. Oh, I can Scarcely believe it! The deed to Bag End! I shall need to remove a few belongings. I'll leave the Bag End key with Master Gamgee of Number 3 Bagshot Row, if you don't mind. What? Gamgee? That dirty potato grubber and his son might plunder all of Bag End in the dead of night! Good day, Lobelia. Yes! Yes! A very good day indeed! My sweet little Lotho will be so happy! Bag End at last! Oh! 
Why you consort with that kind, I'll never know, Frodo. Having barbers and dwarves and wizards for company, and never inviting your own flesh and blood to tea. Honestly. <laughs> I would take the ring. I'll miss the next farmer's market. This square will be brimming over with the freshest crops. Guessing that leaves the shire over there. Will I see another springtime festival around this maypole? I do really like this music. It has like a good atmosphere about it. Man. A lot of backtracking right now though. <laughs> I put that ring I think it's time for me and the ring to leave Hobbiton and begin this journey I think that's the wrong chest isn't it There's a side quest that's not going to be completed for a while, bringing the <laughs> ring to Rivendell. Be. Sam spices down there a little bit. Oh, shit. Rider, all in black. No, Mr. Bagant has gone away. Left this morning. Why did Bagant go? Why is none of my business? Or yours? Where did Bagant raid the stand up to a writer. Well, that's no secret. He's walking to Buckleberry or some such place. Yes, quite a ways down the East Road. Never been so far myself. They're a strange lot in Buckland. Can you send a message? 
No, I can't give no message. Now, good night to you. <laughs> evening, Master Gamji. Good evening to you, Fredo. A peculiar rider came asking after you. I don't wish to make his acquaintance. Nor me. Sent shivers up my back just to hear his hollow voice. Where's Sam? He was waiting for you. But that dreaded Pippin Took came to collect him. Said they would meet you at Maggot's farm. There's something about a shortcut. What are they up to? They didn't say. But Pippin seemed quite pleased with himself. And Sam was none too happy about it. He'd better not be up to mischief. Well, here's the bag end key for Lobelia. I guess I'll meet Sam at Maggot's farm. Good evening, Master Gamgee. I'm going to save it again just after that conversation. I do remember this part being kind of tough for some reason. Oh shit. Instantly caught. <laughs> I should, I should probably keep two saves just in case, because I think you can at least screw yourself with saving. Now all of a sudden I gotta remember where I'm, I was going. Looks like they're gonna take the path, right? Fence. And I jumped this one. Oh. didn't hit anything in time. Getting destroyed by these riders. Bridge, though. Does a writer just waiting there? Does he move? Go for a second save slot here. Probably gonna need one. Oh, does this guy look at the rocks? For a long time with that. Mm. Oops.
have an idea. Uh oh. Visible wall! No, over that way. Oh. No, over there! Cut to him. I was worried about him turning around. stare at them yeah. for a while. Nice, we made it. Why is my clock so wrong on my PS2? Are there more riders out here? There was only three of them. A wolf! I'm done for! Hold on, Robin. Frodo, look out! Oh shit. Oh no, don't eat him! Got him. Here he is in Greece. Ah, Frodo, I am in your debt. If you hadn't come along, I'd be a midnight morsel for that beast. I'm glad you're all right, Robin. We've not seen wolves for a hundred years. So I hear. Oh, it's an ill omen. What could it mean? That I'd better get going. What? Oh, right you are, Frodo. And I should get back on patrol. Yes, but tell the other sheriffs to watch for more dangers in the Shire. Yes, of course. I'm still shaking from that beast, you know. I have to go, Robin. I don't see any riders around. feeling though. Oh my god. I don't think I should be fighting these. Go 
away, wolves! It really doesn't restart very much health, does it? I like that it says 10 health, like there's an actual numerical value on your actual health there. Stay hidden. He just sitting there, though. Mushroom. Huh? Can't see me, I'm in a log. I seem like the saves keep taking up more and more space. The amount of space left on my uh, card keeps changing. Get away with using this tree. I feel like that's a reference to the movie, that tree there, but... Just in case, uh, if there's another one up ahead or something. All this danger and we still haven't even left the Shire. old sluggard. What kept you, cousin? Stop by the Green Dragon on your way out? Never mind why, but I can't stay. I have to leave right now for Cricolo. You mean Rivendell, and we're coming with you. You thought you were so clever, but our conspiracy outsmarted you. We know all about the Ring and the Dark Lord, so we're going. 
to protect you. But how did you know? How could we not know? With you muttering, will I ever see that valley again? <laughs> you really have the Sackville Bagginses to thank. I was practicing sneaking up on Bilbo one day when he heard Lotho calling after him. Bilbo put on the ring and vanished. We kept our eyes open after that. We spied on you and Gandalf. How? Well, through our chief conspirator. Until he got caught. And Gandalf did say, take those as you can trust. It seems I can't trust anyone. You can trust us to stick with you to the bitter end. We've kept your secret better than you did. But you can't trust us to let you face danger alone. Even though we're horribly afraid, we're coming with you. Or following after like hounds. Dogs! No, Sam. Hounds. <laughs> Maggots, dogs! They're coming! Rip! Fang! Wolf! Come on, lads! And old Maggot, too, by the sound of it. So much for stealing some mushrooms before we go. What's all this chatter at this hour of the night? Speak up! Good evening, Mr. Maggot. Well, if it isn't Peregrine Took. You're lucky I know you. I was about to set my dogs loose. The most outlandish fellow rode through here, asking strange questions. Here, who's that with you, Pippin? Well, you remember Mary Adduck Brandybuck. Allow me to introduce Samwise Gamgee and Frodo Baggins. Hello. Uh, good to see you again, sir. Baggins. Now, isn't that strangest of all? What do you think that stranger was asking about? He came riding up on a black horse in black cloak and hood, and he asked for Baggins. Oh, that would be a different Baggins. I told him all the Bagginses are in Hobbiton. He says Baggins is heading east on foot, and now Frodo Baggins shows up on my farm. The same Frodo Baggins who was one of the worst young rascals around, I might add. Frodo's much better behaved these days. Where are you headed? To my new home in Crick Hollow. I can see you're in trouble, Frodo. You should never have gotten mixed up with those strange Hobbiton folk. I wager that Outlander has come for the gold Bilbo brought back from foreign parts. Well, I think it's time we were going. No, he'll be waiting. You will ride out in my wagon, hidden from sight. Thank you, sir. It's a pity I've been in terror of your dogs. I've missed a good friend. Indeed. Shall we go now? I will ready the wagon. Man, he's been so helpful. Farmer Maggot's wagon carried us safely away from his farm and into the borders of Buckland. But the Black Rider was still thundering along the east Rider? road. We decided to go it's south and cut through the old forest. Mary had been in the old forest and knew a little of its ways. It's a dark, mysterious place, but not as dangerous as a Black Rider. Mary, Pippin, Sam, where are you? Oi, Frodo! We're over here. And lost by the looks of it. These trees have a mind of their own. Stay where you are. I'll find you. Oh, jeez. Why did we bring them with us? Tree noises. Damn, I really can't go exploring anywhere with the invisible walls. Why is there a gate behind us? I'm confused here. Gone now. This forest, it 
it's as if it had a mind of its own. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Who's over here? Spider! He can still take damage if he's walk. Mary. There's a meter in the top right. Whoops. Ow. It's not even facing me. Weird that you can't like look at it or anything. Loops around, doesn't it? Mary following me? I hope you lost him again. You go in. Pippin. Security has increased. That's some sort of like completion thing then, purity. I mean, yes, we just found Sam, maybe, uh, you don't get purity there and it just kind of goes forward. You guys got this, right? Ow! Get them! now though. 
So where the hell is Sam? We just go on without him? <laughs> Not like he's important, right? some turns back here and then great yeah we didn't go down this way oh, he just bypassed them How is Sam? That that guy just appeared there. Get him. Ow. What the heck keeps interrupting me now? For a while there I could sunlock them. Missing a hobbit too. Mushrooms. We are going to areas that I haven't been to. I just don't know where Sam is. Give me those mushrooms. What the heck. Can't walk on that. <laughs> and yet there's a mushroom there. The unobtainable mushroom. Got it. Oh shit, it's a dead end. I am hopelessly lost and... Was this tree here before? trapped and oh, there it goes how many other paths are like that though
The other two called out when I came close to them, but Sam hasn't called out yet. Oh. We already found two earlier. That's where I just spend the rest of the stream just lost in this forest. I even found oh, we're at the start now. That can't be good. It sucks that there's no like landmarks anywhere that I can use. This is where we got Mary, right? Oh, I think I went that way last time I was here. Good sign, right? Two spiders, oh. You take them both, right? And I'll just, I'll be back up. an area where there'd be one of them. Damn, I thought it was onto something. One turn somewhere that I missed. And I just can't find again. Hmm. Hey, does that mean I've been this way? Or what the other way there? Oh, there's spiders here, so I've been here too. Can I just have like a mini map? I feel like at this point we should just admit that Sam is lost forever and just get out of here. It 
Looks like oh, we the old wives them. knew what they were talking about. This place is dreadful. Been there. But there was a new spider over here. Help! That's Sam. Is he over this way? Oh shit! Found them. I never thought potatoes could smell so good. A good meal will definitely ease my mind about this place. But where is this place? Very close to the Withywindle Valley. But we shouldn't get any closer. Why not? The Withywindle Valley is said to be the strangest part of the whole forest. The center from which all the strangeness comes, as it were. Can you lead us around the valley, Mary? I thought I could, but the way these trees shift about, I don't know, it's its like they're leading us there. Mary thought he knew his way around this forest, but how can anyone find their way when the forest won't stand still? Do you know one of those trees stuck a branch out at me? Nearly tripped me, it did. I'm sorry I led us into such a dangerous place, but at least we've shaken off that black rider. We're finally out of there, I guess. We're at least out of that portion of it. Do they have anything to say if I talk to them? No? I got that one time I talked to Mary. It's weird. Oh no, evil tree. Oh, I don't like this tree. I don't trust it. Hear it singing about sleep? That's not right. It's not right at all. We can't sleep yet. We must get clear of this place. Rest in peace, Mary and Pippin. And Sam, but for some reason, he didn't disappear at the same time. Ow! Ow? Ow! What am I keep getting hit by? I don't know what just happened. I guess I skipped like a scene or something. How do you dodge these hands? What 
is happening right now? I just died. Looks like whenever you... Looks like whenever you, uh, get so far away from the tree, it, like, knocks you down. Something's come up that I'm gonna stop early today, but, uh, I do want to see if I can beat this tree real quick. And I feel great we've been doing a lot of short streams. It's fine. See if we can take this guy out. I'm not sure how they would do though. Attacking the trunk may anger him. He's already mighty angry and killing me. Don't stop. So how do you like that's probably doing damage though, man? How do I dodge? I get hit by everything. I'm hitting him, right? I don't know what I'm doing differently to avoid this. Where be you a-gone to, eh? Puffin' like a bellows. What's the matter, then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. Old man Willow? I know the rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow cold <laughs> if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man Willow. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil is talking. <laughs> Everyone's favorite book character. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very much. Well, my little fellows, you shall come to the house of Tom Bombadil. Where? His voice sounds familiar. Questions around the supper table. Come now and help Tom find lilies for fair Lady Goldberry. After that, we shall sit down to a table laden with cream, honeycomb, and white bread and butter. <laughs> What are we waiting for? The sooner we find lilies, the sooner we can eat! Yeah, I'd like to keep playing, but yeah, something came up in real life. Uh, I'm gonna be ending here. I can continue this on Friday. I feel like this week has just been a lot of mismatched uh, streams. I guess the power went out and I ended up losing my progress in uh, Goemon. Yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Be back on. Well, be back tomorrow with uh, 
some Simpsons hit and run. And on Friday we'll do more Lord of the Rings. So GG's, thanks for watching, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.